Good afternoon, everyone. For those of you just arriving, if you need to use the facilities, we have bathrooms available in our restaurant, 251. You can find that by just going right up the bleachers to the top of the parking lot. We have water located behind you in the cooler and also by the gate that you just came in. We'll be getting started in about five minutes. Mr. Burns, check one, Mr. Burns. Good, thank you.
Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. I know it's extremely hot, so at any point during this, do not hesitate to go grab yourself a water, or if you need to use the bathrooms or facilities, you can use room 251. All you have to do is head right up the bleachers on either side. You'll see room 251 entrance uh, with air-conditioned bathrooms if you need to use it. Again, thank you for coming tonight. My name is Andrew Rebello. I'm the Assistant Superintendent Principal my pleasure to announce your valedictorian, Landon Vegan. Honored guests, faculty members, family and friends, good evening. And welcome to Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School's commencement exercises. Today we celebrate the achievements of the class of my name is Landon Vegan, the valedictorian for the class of 2020, and it is my honor to be your master of ceremonies. We are <laughs> we are honored to have Ms. Brittany Batista in attendance today. Brittany Batista is a 2017 dental assistant graduate, Skills USA National Anthem Contest 2016 winner, and will be auditioning for the voice this year. She will be singing our national anthem. Please rise for the national anthem.
I now ask that you join me in a moment of silence to honor all those who could not be here with us tonight. Thank you. At this time, I wish to introduce the guest on stage. The Honorable Mayor of Fall River, Mr. Paul Coogan. And our Greater Fall River School Committee member, Jeff Coogan. I would also like to introduce the members of the administrative staff. The Director of Guidance, Mrs. Lois Miller. The Director of Special Education, Mrs. Debbie Pacheco. The Assistant Principal of Technical Affairs, Mrs. Maria Torres. The Assistant Principal of Academic Affairs, Dr. Katie Moore. The Supervisor of Building and Grounds, Mr. Glenn Benavides. The District Business Manager, Mrs. Deborah Kenny. School Resource Officer, Mr. Mike Fogarty. School Security, Mr. Doug Swag, Ms. Erica Teal, and Mrs. Olga Baez. Our Superintendent, Dr. Elvio Ferreira. And our Assistant Superintendent Principal, Mr. Andrew Rivello. At this time, I would like to welcome Mayor Coogan for congratulatory remarks. This is the second night today that I can say I'm very proud to be a part of high school for the class of 2020. What you guys did through a pandemic will be put down in history for this school and for every high school in town. The parents and the staff here got you through one of the most challenging graduations and the final years in high school that there's ever been. And I tip my hat to every one of you kids, and I know you're going to do great things the rest of your life. And the city of Fall River, through me, the mayor, congratulates all, you, all of you and wishes you the best of luck. At this time, I would like to bring up my dad, Fall River School Committee member, Jeffrey Began. Welcome, everybody. Congratulations to the class of 2020 uh, on behalf of the Diamond School Committee. This has been a great year from a school committee standpoint, watching our administration put this together, your distance learning, and uh, it's been quite the task, and I applaud them all for what they've been able to do. Uh, you as a student, uh, being a parent, having two students here at Diamond this past year, I've seen what you've gone through. I felt the struggles of a parent. I saw the struggles of a student, and I applaud you again. I leave you with this, moving forward, be humble, be kind, be always willing to learn something new every day. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Hold on tight and make it great. Congratulations. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, classmates, friends, and family of graduates. My name is Landon Vegan, and I'm honored to be the valedictorian for this unique class of 2020. Most graduation speeches during normal years focused on their shared memories together, but I think we can all agree this is not a normal year. We had the last three months of the year, the three months that were supposed to be the most exciting, torn away from us. But that doesn't mean that our class is any less connected than previous. In fact, I would argue that our connection is even stronger because of the experiences that we all share, even though we were apart. We were all going through different things during this time. Some of us have been stuck inside for three months, and others haven't. Some of us have lost jobs, while others have been working more hours than ever as essential workers. 
Some of us worked our hardest to finish the year off strong, while others haven't logged into Google Classroom since March. Some of us have family members that are home with us all day, while others have relatives in healthcare that are always at risk of catching the virus. Which, by the way, thank you to all those people out there, my parents included, who are working to stop the virus. But despite our varied circumstances, every one of us has experienced what it's like to be stuck inside when we should have been going to school and seeing our friends. We all know how it felt to find out that something dear to us was canceled, whether it was a basketball game, track meet, birthday celebration, April vacation plans, or prom. Many of us put hours into our activities, practicing our sport for states, preparing for the spring season, studying for Skills USA or DECA. And to have those end goals shut down, it hurts. It feels like all the work we put in was for nothing. And we've all felt that. We all know how it feels to lose the end of our senior year. But we also discovered our ability to improvise alternatives to these losses. When we couldn't have gatherings for our birthdays, we improvised with small parades. When we couldn't see our friends in person, we FaceTimed, we Zoomed, we found socially distanced ways to stay connected. Sure, these aren't plan A, they aren't what we wanted, they aren't what any of us wanted, but they worked. And these shared experiences are what make our class stronger. As we head into life or college, the workforce or military, whatever the next challenge in our lives may be, there's a good chance that plan A may elude us again. And the fact that we know how to embrace plan B, C, or D now is a lesson we will take with us forever. We will use this creativity to tackle whatever obstacles life throws at us. So my advice to you all is this, don't look back on the things that we never did. Don't focus on the fun that we could have had, but rather on the opportunity and experiences that await us in our upcoming lives. Because with our improvisations and skills that we have used in this crisis, I know that we, the class of 2020, will do amazing things. We are Diamond Strong. Thank you. At this time, I would like to welcome Dr. Ferrer, Superintendent, to the podium. complimentary remarks from members of the class of 2020. It's quite an unbelievable semester that you had to finish off your senior year. But you were able to persevere, push through, and finish strong, even in the midst of a global pandemic. Nothing could stop you from achieving the goal of receiving your high school diploma. For that, you deserve all the recognition that you are receiving. Eleven months ago, I greeted you as you began your senior year. You walked into the auditorium for your first senior assembly, and we had music playing in the background. We played Ricky Martin's The Cup of Life. We discussed the lyrics that that song brought to the globe at that time, telling everyone that if you want something bad enough, you have to fight for it, and that you can never let others stop you from reaching your dream. Those words ring true again here today, so it's only fitting that as we conclude your senior year, I bring more lyrics to you, this time from Rascal Flatts, though I paraphrase. I hope the days come easy and the moments pass slow and each road leads you where you want to go. And if you're faced with a choice and you have to choose, I hope you choose the one that means the most to you. And if one door opens and another door closes, I hope you keep walking until you find the window. If it's cold outside, show the world your warm smile. But more than anything else, I wish for you that this life becomes all you want it to. Your dreams stay big, your worries stay small. You never need to carry more than you can hold. And while you're out there getting where you're getting to, I hope you know the people at Diamond Regional will miss you and want the same things too. I hope you never look back, but you never forget. I hope you always forgive and never regret, and you help somebody every chance you get. I hope you find grace in every mistake and always give more than you take. 
that is my wish for you. Congratulations again, and best wishes to you both. At this time, I would like to welcome Mr. Rabello, Assistant Superintendent Principal, to the podium. Good evening, everyone. Guys, our kids are about to graduate from one of the best high schools in Massachusetts. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, okay. Let me apologize in advance if my phone goes off uh, tonight and you see me sprinting stage left. My wife and I are expecting our first child, uh, so thank you. But she understands how big this is and how important it is. She understands what these kids just went through. We have an absolutely remarkable senior class here. I also want to acknowledge the parents in the crowd tonight. This might be the most incredible group of parents. You just had your kids home every single day since March 17th. Give yourselves a round of applause. You all were very highly engaged throughout their time here, ensuring their success. I also want to say thank you to the most incredible teachers in the state as well, uh, pivoting uh, during uh, this this uh, time. Real quick for our seniors, just a quick message. This is the first class in history that went through something like this. You may not think about it, but you learn things from this. You learn patience. You learn resilience. That coupled with the skills that Diamond ingrained in you. You have the chance to achieve everything you want in life. You have the chance to be one of the greatest generations in America. If you use what you learned at Diamond and you use what you learned from this pandemic. Yesterday I also tweeted and I, and I put out a, a Facebook post that said this is one of the greatest classes in Diamond history. And I don't say that without evidence. This year, and we're not going to release it until mid-August or so. We're going to do a reveal. But the U.S. News and World Report said in 2020, for the first time ever, Diamond Regional was one of the best schools in the nation. That is, you guys led the way with that. That's incredible. I'm going to ask Mr. Beacon to come to the stage. We're going to confer diplomas and we're going to get going with it. By the powers vested in me by the general laws of Massachusetts, I accept this class and authorize you to proceed with the conferring of the diploma. So this is how it's going to go, guys. Please stay seated until your shop is called. When your shop is called, what I need every student to do, put on their mask, zip up your gown, okay, and make your way to the track here. Miss Flam is ready to go. You're going to make sure you have your card with your name on it. So when we go auto collision, auto tech, you're going to walk right up, find a blue dot, stand on it, make sure you have your mask and gown on. You're going to come on the stage. You're going to grab a diploma. You can stop in the middle if you'd like a picture. And then you're going to head right to Mr. Ferreira. And we're going to get pictures with Mare Studios. Check this back there. They'll tell you where to, where to stand. We go, auto collision, come on up. Sydney 
Jordan and Jade. Brianna Williams. Auto Technology, make your way up. Auto Technology. Nicholas Knight. Technology graduates, Scott Patello, Jason Hendricks, Colin Santos, Cameron Braden, Austin William Medeiros. Building and property maintenance. Building and property maintenance. Come on up. Marcelo Floro. Brandon McKinney. Allison Chino. Building and property maintenance graduates. Jonathan South. Evan Bouchard, Eric Lee Mello, Aaron Holyak, Business Tech, Business Tech, come on up, Tatiana Deestrella, Anthony Rodgers, Michaela Cabral. Business Technology, Chelsea Ferrier. Cassidy Rose Aguiar. Caitlin Ramos Rigo. Maya Haley Vieira. Carpentry, come on up, Carpentry. Jay Manuel Raposa the second. Savannah Elizabeth Medeiros. Mackenzie M. D'Souza. Joshua Torres Ruiz. Chelsea Celine Rodericks. Carpentry and cabinet making graduates. Jackie Chan. Devin Cadero. Justine Mai. Marissa Bizarro. Jordan Nicholas Crapo. Culinary Arts. Culinary Arts. Come on up. Jack Rodericks Martins. Tyler Tavares. <laughs> Colin Joseph Cotto. Dylan Ferreira. Cody Aruda. Our culinary arts graduates. Otto Cleary. Dakota Lynn Mornes. Trinity Rivera. Bonnie Aguiar. Ursula Figueroa Castillo. Amy Kryla. 
Dental assisting. Dental assisting. Come on up. Rebecca C. Smith. McKenna Duck. Emily Grace Betancourt. Marissa Perry. Emily Elizabeth Pacheco. Alexis Kira LaFlam. Liliana Christine Valentine. Jocelyn Lewis. Elizabeth Corrine Damaris. Samantha Costa Perry. Drafting, come on up, drafting. Our dental assistant graduate, Sierra J. Andrews. Hannah Louise Mello. Courtney Ann Hafey. Teresa Chanda Mai. Jordan Pyers. Asia Angel Aruda. Julie Elizabeth Lynn Tate. Yakira Nibar. Electricity, come on up. Electricity. Zachary Farias. Electronics, come on up, electronics. Aaron Fernandez. Travis DeMello. Nathan Rowley. Joseph Merck. Garrison Manchester. Those were our electricity graduates. Now on to our electronic technologies graduates. Jaden Landry. Justin Thomas Martel. Landon Vegan. Graphic communications. Graphic communications. Frederick Blake. Brendan Joseph Gray, Jason Ramston Jr., April Lynn Cadero, Alana Marie Patrice Lavasser.
Chantelli, Mercedes Ortiz. Leonardo Martinez. Tyler Corellis. Brianna Page Dinero. Mariana Souza. Shakira Nysa Tosa. Health assisting. Health assisting. Come on up. Lauren Olivia Davis. Nicole Ann Afonso. H back. Brianna Holiday. <laughs> Shania Monis. Now for our H back graduates, Zachary Burgess. Sean Monis. Noah G. Machine tool, come on up. Machine tool. Noah Rodericks. Lucas Arthur Moniz. Now for our machine tool technology graduates, Samuel Betancourt Turkoff. Metal fabrication. Metal fabrication. Cody Alexander Fernandez. Brian Christopher Silva. Kevin Luca Nieves Lopez. Kaylee Rose Burns. For our metal fabrication graduates, Jordan Alfred. Brenda 
Nathan Camara. Darian Furtado. Demetrica May Emery Starks. Fleming, come on up, Fleming. Zachary Lee. Adam Jose Medeiros. <laughs> Carlos Anderson Barros. Kevin Castro. For the rest of our plumbing graduates, Carson Dias. David Prue. Colin Aguiar. Ryan Rivero. Megan Elizabeth Quintel. Olivia Shaylin Belanter. And there you have our 2020 Diamond graduates. <laughs> Absolutely amazing group of seniors right there. We couldn't be more proud of them. Um, as we wait for them to take their pictures, it should move quick. Hopefully, uh, we'll get to a couple things. Scout, uh, Scarlett Salazar from Business Technology and Sarah Martin from Graphic Communications. We have to thank them for designing the mask they have today. Thank you very much, ladies. Next, I'd like to welcome to the stage uh, the two senior advisors, the best at what they do. We have Lindsey Wood and Allie Goddard to the stage, please. in his dedication to Diamond. Over the last 18 years, his presence at all Diamond functions, big or small, never went unnoticed or unappreciated. Our student body had a representation of law enforcement that was a beacon of positivity and approachability. Officer Riley never failed to show his support and devotion to the students. For example, he joined a group of administrators, secretaries, nurses, and teachers on a scorching hot day in May while seniors did a drive-by senior sign-out. He probably saw the gigantic card that we so discreetly tried to have every senior from the class of 2020 sign through their car windows, masks and all. We will always remember Officer Riley's friendliness, his welcoming demeanor, and the way he deeply connected with the students and staff at Diamond. We sure will miss hearing your famous, let's go, from the second floor seat wing as you dismiss students from lunch five times a day. Thank you for always making us feel safe and protected. We appreciate you more than you will ever know. Wow, thank you. Thank you, everyone. As you all know,
Thank you again. Please be seated. I'm going to be very quick. Uh, as many of you know, 2020 is my last year here at the school. Actually, it's my, uh, going to be my last year on the floor of the police department. I have uh, 18 years over here at Diamond, and right now I have 38 years with the FRPD. And I'll tell you, God blessed me when I came up here 18 years ago. To the seniors, vote for it, vote for the skies. I hope everybody got the letter I sent them. If you did, I apologize, it was a postal mistake. But other than that, really, I love each and every one of you. Thank you very much for being part of my life in 2020. Now, graduates, whether you're standing in line or sitting, please take this opportunity to move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side of your cap. You are now the graduates of Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School. Couple quick thank yous. I would like to thank our nurses, Jen Rocha and Justin Kochman, Fall River Police Department. I'd like to thank the building and grounds personnel, just like our students and teachers and all of you had to recreate everything we do. Uh, and it takes a tremendous amount of planning. So Glenn Benavides, Miles Brilliant, Alan Benavides, Tyler Guina, John Trabasos and Sal Silva, we thank them and thank everyone. So that concludes tonight's ceremony. We are gonna ask you to maintain social distancing as you leave. We are gonna ask you to keep your masks on. Uh, we are gonna release by row. So if your child is with you and your row is released, you can go. If not, you can stay there, okay? So volunteers, if we could help out, row one, ask you to stand up and you guys are good to go, thank you. are all set to go. Row two. Row three, all set. Thank you guys. Row three. 